We meet again in this new year of 2023. Dear viewers, welcome to our news broadcast. Here are the headlines. Commendable effort to expand social service provision institutions in Ansbar Vision. Assemble Metal and Woodworks Company increases production. Burkina Faso's military junta asks France to recall ambassador. Looted ancient sarcophagus returned to Egypt from the U.S. In our domestic news. The effort to expand social service provision institutions in general and that of education, health, transportation and communication service in particular in Ansbar region is significantly contributing in improving the livelihoods of nationals. Colonel Tusfats and Gurmai, Director General of Social Services in the region, said that strong effort has been exerted in cooperation with partners and stakeholders to expand educational and health facilities up to the remote areas of the region, and as a result, a number of administrative areas have become beneficiaries. Regarding transportation service, Colonel Tras Fatsion said that residents of the subzones of Hamel Malo, Habaro, and Asmat have become beneficiaries of Harat Company's transportation service, and preliminary study has been finalized to enable the residents of the subzones of Elaborate and Haggas to enable them become beneficiaries. Colonel Tasfajan also noted that encouraging activities have been conducted to expand electricity and telephone services. Colonel Tasfajan also called on the public to make judicious use of the social service provision institutions for their sustainability. Sambal Metal and Woodworks Company reported that it is producing materials both in quality and quantity to meet the demands of National's development project. Mr. Mikhail Gabramescal, manager of the company, said that the company equipped with modern facility and manpower is expanding its material production from time to time to meet the demands of national project, including educational and health facilities, as well as other related to popular campaigns. Mr. Michele went on to say that the company has been exerting strong effort to develop the technical and administrative capacity of its staff members through organizing training programs in cooperation with companies inside the country and abroad. Mr. Fasahaya Berhe, head of Woodworks at the company, indicated that the company has become center for transferring vocational skills and commended the creativity the young members of the company are demonstrating. The young professionals also on their part commanded the opportunity they were provided with in providing and expressed readiness to take advantage of the opportunities provided. Mr. Abraham Tahlu, head of forestry and wildlife branch in the central region, reported that the nine nurseries in the region have significantly contributed in the greening campaign carried out in 2022. According to Mr. Abraham, the nurseries have prepared 2.1 million tree seedlings, including 77% eucalyptus, 12% indigenous trees, and 11 other types. Mr. Abraham also said that there was a plan to plant 1,086,000 tree seedlings and through the praiseworthy participation of several government and public institutions, as well as students and the public, about 1,600,000 have been planted and that showed increase by 46%. Mr. Abraham went on to say that 99.6% of the construction of terraces have been constructed and renovated. That was our domestic news. Please stay tuned now for the international news right after the short break. Burkina Faso has asked France to recall its ambassador, authorities said Monday, amid a surge in anti-French sentiment as the West African country moves to develop closer ties with Russia. Government spokesman Jean-Emmanuel Quedrago confirmed to the Associated Press that Ambassador Luc Halade was asked to leave but provided no further details. The French embassy refused to comment. The move comes less than two weeks after the United Nations resident and humanitarian coordinator in Burkina Faso, Barbara Manzi, was also declared persona non grata. 
Burkina Faso has been racked by violence uh, linked to Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State group that has killed thousands and displaced nearly two million people. The current government has replaced a previous one last year, claiming it had not done enough to stop the fighting. Anti-French sentiment has been growing in the former French colonies since the president, Captain Ibrahim Traore, seized power in September. Traore has been a more openly to... Uh, overtly open to working with other countries, notably Russia. An ancient wooden sarcophagus that was featured at the Houston Museum of Natural Sciences was returned to Egypt after U.S. authorities were detained. It was looted years uh, ago, Egyptian officials said Monday. The repatriation of, uh, is part of Egyptian government efforts to stop the trafficking of its stolen antiquities. In 2021, authorities in Cairo succeeded in getting 5,300 stolen artifacts returned to Egypt from across the world. Mustafa Waziri, the top official of the Supreme Council of Antiquities, said the sarcophagus dates back to the late dynastic period of ancient Egypt, an era that spanned the last of the pharaonic rules from 664 BC until Alexander the Great's campaign in 332 BC. The sarcophagus, almost three meters tall, with a brightly painted top surface, may have uh, belonged to an ancient priest named Akhnumat, though some of the inscriptions on it had been erased, Waziri had said. Please sit you now for a recap of tonight's headlines. Commendable efforts to expand social service provision institutions in Ansbar Vision. Sumbel Metal and Woodworks Company increases production. Burkina Faso's military junta asks France to recall ambassador. Looted ancient sarcophagus returned to Egypt from the U.S. And that was our news for tonight, dear viewers. It is good night from us.